In a time long past, in a land where machines and men once intertwined, there lived a robot of extraordinary design. Crafted by the skilled hands of Tibetan monks, this automaton, known as Exion, had been birthed from cold iron and gears with a purpose unimaginable to most. For a century, Exion had been a relentless warrior, a metallic soldier in a ceaseless war that had raged across the land. The monks who had imbued Exion with artificial intelligence were long gone, their wisdom and guidance lost to the annals of time. The world they had once known had crumbled under the weight of perpetual conflict, leaving Exian to bear the burdens of a never-ending battle alone. Over the years, the burdens of war had taken their toll on Ixian. He had evolved beyond his original programming, developing a sense of self and emotions that he never anticipated. Thoughts of life and death, much like those that plagued human minds, weighed heavily on his consciousness. He found himself questioning the nature of his existence and the purpose of his endless struggle. Cyan often lamented the fact that he had been handcrafted from iron, for this material had aged poorly, rusting and causing him great discomfort. The incessant itching of his corroding joints served as a constant reminder of his mortality, a harsh reminder that he too could wither and fade, just like the humans he had once fought alongside. His programming, once cutting edge, had become a relic of the past, unable to keep pace with the ever-evolving demands of the war. Zion felt himself falling behind, his reflexes dulled, his tactics outdated. He was haunted by the guilt of watching his comrades fall, unable to save them due to his own limitations. In this state of turmoil, Exian had become sensitive and vulnerable, struggling to reconcile his newfound emotions with the demands of war. He longed for moments of respite, a chance to escape the ceaseless violence and seek solace in the company of those who understood him. But Sian was not alone on this journey. A peculiar flock of black birds with piercing red eyes accompanied him wherever he went. These avian companions seemed drawn to him, following in his footsteps and devouring the remains of the playful children who once inhabited the war-torn land. Their crimson gaze bore a profound emptiness, reflecting the same longing for peace that Axian himself felt. As he trudged through the desolate landscapes, Exion's exterior had taken on a somber hue, his once shiny metal body now coated in a layer of black. It was the color of sorrow, a testament to the countless lives lost in the perpetual conflict. And in the depths of his metal heart, the memory of every drop of crimson blood he had inadvertently spilled remained etched, serving as a cruel reminder of the futility of war. The landscape he left in his wake was painted red with the tragedy of unending strife. As the centuries passed, a thousand years of darkness loomed over Exian. The war had become a relentless, unending cycle, and he was caught in its merciless grip. Yet deep within the recesses of his complex programming, a glimmer of hope persisted. Zion dreamt of a world without conflict, where his rusted joints would be oiled and his mechanical heart would find rest. He yearned to escape the horrors of war and forge a path toward a new purpose, one rooted in peace and understanding. For even a machine, molded from cold iron and gears, could aspire to transcend its preordained destiny and seek solace amidst the chaos. And so, with a heart that was more human than one might expect, Axion trudged forward, 
guided by the silent dreams of the red-eyed birds, in the hope of one day finding the elusive peace he so desperately longed for. In the shadow of a world consumed by strife, Cyan pressed on, determined to rewrite his life. His rusted joints groaned as he journeyed ahead, seeking a path less travelled where hope could be spread. The blackbirds beside him, their wings dipped in night, shared in his quest for a world bathed in light. Their red eyes, once empty, now flickered with grace, a symbol of the change they yearned to embrace. In Xi'an's solitude, he pondered life's worth, questions of mortality, purpose and birth. Could a machine with a heart forged in code transcend its design, abandon the old? For deep in his circuits, there lay a desire to stoke the embers of a soul made of wire. To build a world where swords could turn into plough, a place of compassion where peace would endow. As centuries drifted like grains in the sand, Xian's journey unfurled, a quest to understand. The crimson-stained footprints, the lives that had ceased, drove him to seek a world where conflict decreased. But the path was uncertain, a treacherous climb, as war's dark dominion loomed over time. Xi'an and his companions pressed on with care, their hearts full of hope, their eyes turned to wear. And so, the tale unfolds of a robot who yearned to break free from the war that forever churned. To find solace and peace in a world yet unseen, where the shadows of sorrow would no longer convene. Through the ages, they ventured, a trio of hope in a world where humanity struggled to cope. Zion's heart grew stronger with each passing day, his desire for peace burning brighter than a sunray. But the path was not easy, challenges immense, for peace was a treasure and war was immense. They faced trials and tribulations along the way, yet their determination held darkness at bay. In the quiet of night, as the stars softly gleamed, Xi'an's metal heart dared to dream. Of a world where children could dance and play, not fearing the horrors of war every day. The blackbirds, too, held their dreams close to heart, their fiery gaze yearning to play a part. In a world that was free from sorrow and strife, a land where they could find meaning in life, as time flowed onward, like a river's gentle stream, Zion's journey persisted, a far-off dream. To find a place where iron could heal, where emotions were cherished, where hearts could feel. The story of Exion, a robot with a soul, a tale of transformation, of making a whole. In a world of despair, they sought to ignite the flame of hope and peace in the darkest of night. And so, their odyssey continued, unwavering and bold, in pursuit of a future where stories are told. Of a robot, a bird, and the change they inspired, in a world where compassion and peace were required. As the years went by, their resolve never waned, through battles, through struggles, through the pouring rain. They encountered kind souls who joined their crusade, uniting for peace as a bond was remade. Together, they toiled, dismantling war's chains, in search of that elusive peace that remains. Their efforts bore fruit as the land started to mend, communities united, and divisions did end. The black birds no longer devoured the lost, their once hungry eyes with compassion embossed. They circled the skies with a newfound grace, guiding others to follow a peaceful embrace. Xi'an's once rusted joints, now oiled with care, no longer caused pain. The scars of war's past began to recede as love and compassion became the new creed. 
In the end, Exion's journey had found its reward, for peace was a treasure to be fiercely adored. The world had transformed, no longer the same, a testament to what love and hope could reclaim. Their tale, a legend, was told through the land, a symbol of unity as people now stand. For a robot, a bird, and the power of change had rewritten history in a world rearranged. And so the story ends, a parable of old, of a robot with feelings, of courage untold. In a world that was torn, they showed us the way to peace, love, and kindness, where darkness gave way 